A major shipping company here has set up a training scheme to improve staff skill levels and develop new talent. The academy established by Pacific Internationalized PIL will offer customized training for employees and new hires. Its curriculum includes courses in fleet and vessel operations, maritime finance and commerce, sustainability and decarbonization. The academy will also offer courses in soft skills like leadership, innovation and communication, and support PIL's Management Associate Program to train new employees. PIL Chief Executive Lars Kastrup said on June 7 that the company wants to boost employees' skills to future-proof their careers while increasing productivity and innovation in the firm. As PIL transforms into a stronger, more efficient, innovative, sustainable and future-ready organization, we are empowering our employees to propel the company ahead through PIL Academy's structured and comprehensive program. He said, PIL, which is based in Singapore, is the world's 12th largest container shipping line and the largest homegrown carrier by capacity in Southeast Asia. The firm, which has 8. 000 employees worldwide, including 4,000 seafarers, Inked several memorandums of understanding on June 7 to support its academy. One involves the Singapore Institute of Technology and the PIL Academy co developing maritime related micro credentials that can be stacked towards a degree or other qualifications. They will also conduct continuing education and training programs and workplace learning projects. The Academy has also teamed up with skills management software company JobCred to facilitate technology-based learning for PIL employees. Another initiative will see the Academy offer maritime diplomas to PIL employees via a partnership with the Britain-based Maritime Training Academy. Transport Minister Chi Hong Tet told the Academy's launch event at Google Midtown on June 7 that the maritime industry is key to international trade. With more than 80% of the world's cargo transported by sea, he said Singapore aims to be a global hub for maritime talent development, leveraging the strong tripartite partnership between the government, industry and unions. As the global maritime industry embraces new challenges such as digitalization and decarbonization, Maritime Singapore must continue to upskill and reskill our workforce so that workers can remain relevant and competitive, said Mr. Chi. Mr. Chi added that PIL's approach to training will help to attract and retain talent within the firm and in the overall maritime sector. We hope what PIL is doing can serve as a good role model for other companies to also use this tripartite arrangement and stackable micro-credential learning modules to upgrade their employees. He said. PIL employees at the event told the Straits Times that the Academy will provide a more targeted approach to maritime training. Ms. Lai Sok Kwan, a senior manager who has been at the firm for a decade said there is little specialized training in the maritime industry. There are a lot of external courses that we went for, but they are all generic and don't cater directly to our company. For example, ship sizes vary from small to large, but PIL only has small to medium-sized ships, and each ship has its own technical specification. For in-house training like PIL Academy, we can tap our own experts to guide us directly. Mr. Amont Sal Daniel, a new hire who is enrolled in the firm's management associate program, said that PIL Academy will equip employees with better knowledge and expertise. It will enable us to learn more about the entire maritime company, but is also specialized in the sense that it'll help us understand the company's internal operations and needs.